All right, welcome back. Well, somebody from XDA Developers says that he tried Linux Mint as a Windows fanboy, and here's how it went. So he talks about Linux Mint actually comes with a demo running this in USB mode. You can try it first before installing it. Not, nothing special with most Linux nowadays. Getting started with Linux Mint is really smooth and effortless. Yeah, it's on my top three list for Windows users who want to try Linux. He talks about a lot of his favorite software just works without issue. And he talks about installing Google Chrome and Steam and all that. Very good. <laughs> you have to type your password in a lot. This can be disabled, uh, but it's there for a reason, for security, obviously. So that's good. He says, the terminal is not scary. I beg to differ from what you Windows folks are telling me. The moment somebody mentions the terminal in Linux, it's game over, man. Uh, I get it. Been there, done that. I was once not scared, but leery of the terminal years ago. It's not that hard to learn. Look, I can't guarantee that if you, you know, try Linux, you will never have to use the terminal. Well, I mean, um, unless you buy a Chromebook uh, with a modified version of Linux. But yeah, it, this is one of those things when it comes to Linux newbies in the beginning, just don't mention the terminal, period. All right, so Linux Myth is more fun than I thought, he says. It's fun because it's easy to use. It just works. It's been around a while, and you really don't have to use the terminal that much. Anyway, for today, I'm going back to my lightweight Lubuntu. That's it for this one. I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and all that, and uh, take care.